Hi everybody, Jeff Simon here from Social Flight with another cool building stage on our Titan T51D Mustang. And today, it's a surprise coming from our friends at Avidyne. Now, when you're taxing a tailwheel aircraft, especially one that sits low with a long nose like this Mustang, it can be really hard to see over that nose and taxi, get lined up for the runway, see ob uh, obstructions, things that might be in your way. But we've got a solution for that. Using our IFD 550, we have implemented something here that is so, so cool. I'm going to show it to you right now. All we have to do is go here into our menu. We've got our map right here, but there's a very special tab that's just come alive here. I'm going to show it to you. It's called video. And there you have it. Right in front of us right now, you can actually see what the taxiway is going to look like. Now, of course, we're here in the living room. We're still building this. It's not a taxiway, but if I can show you right now, what it is it's this it's a special little camera that we've gotten that we're going to mount in our air scoop the scoop that goes for cooling underneath the mustang that iconic water cooled engine and scoop and what do we have well we've got this little camera that can be a forward camera we can also put a second one there that will look aft and be able to see our gear so we can actually check as our gear goes up uh, and uh, see how the, everything looks going back. So both forward and aft looking cameras, all possible, all being able to be integrated here as part of our Avidyne IFD. So let me put this back in here <laughs> in its little home and uh, tell you a little bit more about this. So the way that this actually works, this is an option that's available on Avidyne IFD 540s and 550s. So the option that you get allows you using a separate port on the back that has uh, uh, optional inputs for the unit to take what's known as an RS-170 video input. And it turns out that is compatible with just about every kind of backup or forward looking camera that you can find even on Amazon. So you go and grab some of these cameras, whatever you need, experiment, mount it, it'll come straight through. Now they designed this feature for forward looking infrared cameras that are certified, of course, on certified aircraft. But it works for all sorts of different situations. So for us, we're using it here in this. And here's an even cooler feature because one of the things that I uh, really do uh, love about the Avidyne is this little keyboard. This keyboard you can put anywhere. It's completely, it's Bluetooth, it's obviously wireless, and you can mount it anywhere you want. And it makes it so quick to just type in an identifier that you're looking for. But in our case, you can even click the button here twice and it goes straight to the uh, video camera. Um, so it's pretty cool. Now, if we did want to switch between a forward and aft looking camera, the only thing we need to do is actually put a regular switch somewhere in our panel that switches the video signal between those two and make sure that we're sending power at all times to both uh, forward and aft cameras. But this is going to make such a huge difference. I'll tell you, um, I'm extremely excited about it. And uh, it is cool because at this point, putting this little, uh, little mock up that I made of a, uh, of a taxiway up, it uh, really shows what it's going to look like as we're actually using it and you can see in front of it you can see everything that you need to so another cool stage just wanted to bring everyone in the loop on that because I'll tell you I again I am such a huge fan of Avidyne I always have been long before this build you can actually take a, a, an old like 530 uh, from garments pull that out and you can slide in an Avidyne IFD 540 or 550 for a simple replacement without having to go and pay a whole bunch of money to avionics shops and to add video or to add any of these other features, they're just a couple wires. It's very straightforward. So a simple installation going to make it very possible to, to, uh, you know, to, to taxi safely, to demonstrate so many cool things. And all of this is, uh, you know, all possible and all integrated because we've got traffic coming from our link system here. Um, that's right below it. That's going to be able to be displayed on both our um, our Aspen over here as well as over on the IFD from Avidyne. Uh, we're going to have traffic. We're going to have weather. We're going to have video. All of these things available, and uh, I, I just couldn't be happier about it. 
So that's your quick update here. For Social Flight, I'm Jeff Simon. Be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free apps for uh, Apple and Android devices. There are just so many cool things going on there. And you can compete in our Fly to Win Challenge. We're giving away prizes all the time. There are just so many cool things to do out there. And be sure to check out Social Flight Live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Until next time, I wish you all blue skies. Hey guys, quick little bonus behind the scenes of how I actually did that shot of the taxiway on the Avidyne IFD 550. Well, the answer is it is totally old school. If you look over here, I've got a piece of paper and uh, if I pull this piece of paper back, there it is, picture of the taxiway. And uh, what I did is I had, because these cameras have uh, such a wide field of view, so basically it's like a fisheye lens, the only way to make it look good is I had to curve the paper. So I actually taped it on in front of the camera, curved like this, and that is how I was able to get that shot. And here is the little camera that did it. And so that camera was, again, uh, very inexpensive, very easy for us to, to deal with. And, um, and really cool. So if you ever wanna do anything, you wanna experiment when you're building something or doing with that, the answer to dealing with a fisheye lens, curve the paper. Until next time, blue skies.